Good morning, bitchachos. It is an awesome. <coughs> Sorry, I'm on that. It is that awesome, amazingly one cold day in Miami that we like to refer to as winter. So I'm finally just getting to wear the scarf that I wait all year to wear. Like, I wait and wait and wait, and today is the day, guys. Today I get to wear my Ravenclaw scarf. Y'all know how much I love me some Harry Potter, so, you know, being able to wear this scarf, it's like, hey, bitches, I am a fan. Are you? Because I don't see you, like, supporting or repping any sort of house there, girl. So tell me about you. So yeah, so now I'm off to school, taking a metro rail. Ooh, girl, I'm so cosmopolitan. But yeah, girl, so I'm gonna go to class, and I think I got class with uh, Mio and Josh today. So you might get to meet them too. It's gonna be exciting today, girl. It's gonna be exciting. Okay, take two, cause last time I tried to record, nothing fucking recorded. So yeah, um, I just left school, and I was in class, and I walk in. And guess who the motherfucker is there? Bay. Bay is there. And I'm just like, oh shit, semester's gonna be the shit. <laughs> okay? So, not only do I work with this cute little heifer, now I got class with this cute little heifer? Oh yeah. You don't even know. We gonna go ham on this bitch. Well, not ham, because this girl's a vegetarian now. So yeah. <laughs> but now we on our way home, because you know, bitches don't like to be in school any longer than they gotta be. So yeah. We just gonna hang out, have some fun. That hoe gonna ditch me to throw away his meat. So yeah, we might do a little more recording later. We might not. Who knows? Just stick with it. I'm back home, and Alex and Eddie have met, and it's kind of cute. They're like two birds of a feather. <laughs> They're like two birds of a feather. So yeah, like. You met Jordan in person. No, Eddie and my sister are what I like to call jugglers, aka they like options. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. So I just dropped Eddie off at school because he's got another class today. So yeah, now I'm on my way home. I'm supposed to work out with Marilyn. I was supposed to, but dropping Eddie off took a little bit longer than I expected. So basically what's going to happen now is just I'm going to go home and kind of <laughs> relax for a little bit. And then she's going to go work out by herself and then or she's working out by herself. And then yeah. Uh, we're just gonna meet up later hopefully and I'm gonna see if I can walk with Jessica a little bit later and even if it is like a little bit late um, I can still walk with her because I don't have school tomorrow so it should be fine the rest of the day should be pretty pretty chill actually but yeah yeah see, see how it goes you guys do you know what tonight is do you know what tonight is do ya 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 it's PLL night it's PLL night. And you know what? My body's ready. Allison is alive. Ezra is A. Oh my god. What the hell? What are they gonna do now? Okay. I usually don't do this, but it's something that kind of hits close to home. Um, I just finished watching this video about um, the world's ugliest woman, supposedly. And it's basically about this girl, Lizzie Velasquez, and she's a motivational speaker now, and she's written a couple books, and she's getting her career like on the road, and awesome. And basically, she has this syndrome that what happened to her was like complications with her birth. There was no amniotic fluid in wherever that goes, um, and just it was just a really horrible tale that she kind of told um, but she talked about how in spite of it all she's still becoming this awesome person and she's using the negativity from everything that everyone had thrown at her and she's building up herself and her life and she basically is a firm believer in the fact that you steer your own life and I completely agree like as a society, we let other people dictate what we think is who we are. And I think that that's stupid. I think that you are who you are and no one and nothing can tell you who and what you are unless it's you. And yeah, I understand that at a young age, kids are cruel. Bullies happen. But, <clears throat> and we're all different. 
We have different upbringings, different backstories, different everything. But if this woman that has this syndrome has taken on life and has such a vigor and a passion for it, why do we let other people treat us like we're crap when we're awesome? So yeah, I'm going to get off my soapbox now because that's been enough for one day. <laughs> But yeah, just some food for thought, guys. Some food for thought. Guys, I seriously can't stop watching these videos. I mean, she's just so positive and infectious that she, she makes me smile. Like, whatever. But um, I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. I'm going to leave the link to her TED Talk in the description box below so you guys can check that out. Because it really is something worthwhile. Um, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm... Probably going to watch Pretty Little Liars before bed because I'm kind of excited to see that. But yeah, it's been a good day. Hung out with my bae, went to school. Um, but yeah, there are awesome people still out there in the world. And that, you know, good people still exist. And that there are still people that value happiness and light above hatred and discouragement and just being different so i hope you guys are good i hope you guys are okay and namaste bitches